Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Tactic Tester and as always if you've liked this video hit the like and hit that subscribe button we're 8 away from 40 subs so hit that button because it really helps me out and today we're gonna play with uh, Bayer Leverkusen or Bayern 04 as they're called we're playing a tactic from Connor PM Connell and um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a 4-3-3 formation. We start off with the sweeper keeper on support in Hidariak. We've got on the right a wing back on support in Weiser. Mitchell Weiser is playing there. Then we've got two ball playing defenders on cover. And they are Jonathan Tha on the right and Dragovic on the left. And then as a Wing back on support on the left, we've got Wendell. Moving up to the midfield on the right, we got a Mazala on attack in Kerem Demirbe, a deep lying playmaker in the middle on support in Charles Aranguiz, and on the left, we've got a Mazala on attack in, of course, Wonder Kid Kai Havertz. Then moving up one more line. We've got a right winger on attack in Kerem Belarabi and on the left we've got a winger on attack as well in Leon Bailey. Moving up front to the striker we've got an advanced forward on attack in Gavin Folland. And today we are competing of course in the Bundesliga, the German Cup the, and the Champions Cup, the Europa, European Champions League. So yeah. Oh, let me explain the tactics. It's a positive mentality with a very narrow width, attacking with, passing into space, play out defense, standard passing, and an extremely high tempo. In transition, counter press with counter, uh, distribute to the center backs, and keeper has to take short kicks. Out of possession, we got a much lower line of engagement with a higher defensive line a standard defensive with extremely urgent pressing and preventing the opposition goalkeeper from taking short kicks so let's get ready and see what happens and how far we are on january 15th all right it's january 15th now and as you can see after 17 games played in the bundesliga we are currently second with 37 points and a goal difference of 19. our top goal scorer is kevin volant with 17 goals so let's have a quick look at the score right now goals come from of course kevin volant leon bailey with seven bill robbie with six Kai Havertz with 5 goals and 7 assists, Demir Bay with 5 goals, 3 assists, and Charles Aranguez with 5 goals and 2 assists. Even Jonathan Tha from the central defend position with 2 goals, 1 assist. I will quick look at the competition. We were knocked out in the second round by Borussia Mönchengladbach in the German Cup and we are in the European Champions Cup uh, against uh, Manchester City so um, yeah we probably won't survive that one so yeah let's have a quick look at how we did so far Poco first round went okay then Paderborn victory over Paderborn Hoffenheim Dortmund draw against Fortuna Düsseldorf then we came across Ajax in the Champions League, we drew 1-1, we then went on to beat Union Milan, Augsburg, lost to Leipzig, uh, Liverpool, a victory over Leipzig and a draw against Frankfurt, a sounding victory over Lokomotiv Moscow, with then followed up with draws against Werder Bremen, a loss against Gladbach, which was a hefty loss. We then beat them in the next game for in the Bundesliga so that's a bit disappointed we then drew against Moscow followed by victories over Wolfsburg and Freiburg a 2-0 loss against Ajax and a 2-1 defeat against Bayern we then went on to beat Schalke, Liverpool, FC Köln and then 
a draw against Hertha Berlin and a loss against Mainz. So yeah, we've got the rest of the season. We've of course still got the Champions League. We got no pool goal to be in, but we're still high in the league. So let's go to the end of the season and see how we have done then. All right, it's now the end of the season, and as you can see, we finished second with 73 points, only five behind Bayern Munich. So I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, first, let's see how we did in the rest. We got knocked out in the Champions League by Manchester City. Uh, the final hasn't been placed yet, but let me show you what we've done. We got beaten four of our, or two five on aggregate so uh, but yeah it's against Manchester City so it's not too shabby I'm I'm happy with the first result we got the second result we got absolutely battered as you can see 4 nil. so yeah but um yeah then if we continue to the league show you everything we've done since here yeah, we beat Paderborn, Paderborn Dusseldorf Hoffenheim, Dortmund, Union Berlin in the league straight. Then Manchester City came knocking and we said, no, go away. We beat them 2-1. We then got beaten by Augsburg out of all clubs. 1-0. We then hit back with by beating Leipzig and Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, we knocked at Manchester City's door and they slammed it in our faces and got beaten 4-0. We then had draws against Werder Bremen, Borussia Mönchengladbach, a victory over Wolfsburg, a draw against Freiburg, a win over Bayern, which is really big, uh, a hefty 7-2 defeat against Schalke, with Charles being sent off in the last minute of the first half. And uh, yeah, it was was not was a terrible game. We struck back with beating Köln. We then got beaten by Hertha Berlin. Uh, and then we beat on the final day Mainz to nil. So yeah, I think um, pretty decent overall. If we have a look at the squad, Lucas Hadriak or Hadriaki, I don't know how to pronounce it. He played forty-four games and he had thirteen clean sheets in the league, and he conceded only thirty-eight goals. So that's pretty decent. We got John uh, Mitchell Leiser. On a 6.95, Jonathan Tha played 42 games, scored two, one assist, 7.18. Alexander Dragovic, being a bit older now, probably would be replaced in the squad. Same goes for Wendel and um, Weiser Hadilek. He's on a 6.94. Wendel on a 7.03, 39 played, uh, no goals, uh, four assists to his name, so it's okay. It's okay ish. In the midfield, Kirim Demirba played 43 games, 9 goals, 12 assists, 7.44. Charles, 39, played 11 goals, 3 assists, 7.17. Won the kit, Kai Havertz played 33 games, 43, sorry, 10 goals, 11 assists, really good. Karim Belarabi played 42 games, 9 goals, 7 assists, 7.06. Leon Bailey, 41 plate, 12 goals, 10 assists, also good. Kevin Volland, 44 plate, scored 28 goals, 7 assists. And uh, yeah, some of them are wanted. For example, Bellarabi, uh, Charles is wanted. And uh, Jonathan Tha also wanted by Bayern. So a couple of players wanted. Uh, and that's just showcasing how good they were. So, yeah, if we have a look at the league, got league stats, team overview. We did score the most goals, 73 goals scored, but we conceded uh, 38, I believe. Yeah, 38, so that, that put us far, far down. Um, so, definitely need to improve on the goalkeeper. We did manage to get into the top what is it, 9 for clean sheets, or top 8, tackling, we are in 3rd, most fouls made, we are 16th, with 299 fouls made, 
average possession on average we had only 45 percent of the ball so finishing second is really good passing accuracy not too shabby 84 percent best heading oh wait we're down there uh we're not going to mention that crossing not going to mention goals shooting currency of course we top that as well and if we look at have a look at the player overview of course Lewandowski has the golden boot uh Guido Burgstaller came in second only one goal less than Lewandowski and we have a man in third in of course Volant really good most dribbles Leon Bailey most distance but Robbie was close uh so that's good most assists five away most key passes quite a lot away actually that's really good damn tackles Wendell in there Weiser as well average rating Karim Bellero Demirbay has the same average rating as Thiago so he's doing really well Kai Havertz following just a little bit below that overall pretty damn good and uh, yeah this tactic is it's working really well uh this team definitely needs uh, some improvements uh, in the defense, namely goalkeeper, wing backs, uh, new centre back, then uh, probably a new a new striker, someone better than Volant, because um, if you have a very good wing, uh, not a winger, very good striker in this position, it would definitely be overkill. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, go ahead, download it. Tactic is linked down in the description below, and a uh, big shout out to to Nico Neil who made this tactic available uh, I'll put a link down in the description to his Twitter account uh, go ahead check him out and um, that's it for now so I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next fit see ya